Hey, all right, we're back. Hey, before we get going here, I thought I would explain uh, my process, and uh, certainly the models are the product of the process. Now, you can build a model top down, bottom up, front to back, back to front, inside out. You can do it any way you want. Uh, this is just the way I build models. So um, what I do is, of course, after all the cleanup and you know washing it and getting the degreaser off, all that kind of stuff that we all do, uh, what I do is I go through a phase. What I that I well I got what I got I got six phases here, but what I do is I go through a a phase that I call ideation. This is where I put in my notebook all the ideas I'm going to do with a certain model. Um, I don't necessarily stick to it, but it kind of gives me a process to get going. Now, when I'm done with that, then I go into what I call design development. I, I start kind of looking at things, handling the parts, looking at them, getting, gathering up stuff, you know. Maybe I might order some parts or some decal, whatever, you know, I do over here in the gather, gather stuff up phase. It's kind of my design development phase. And then uh, where it gets real fun is over here what I call fit mint. Now, we all know that no amount of painting is gonna cover, you know, stuff that doesn't fit. So you gotta get it to fit right. And there's a lot of sanding in here and a lot of measuring. And, and I use a particular thing when I'm measuring. Um, is one of these now you guys you can get these on ebay they are they are super cool it's what's called a digital caliper and you know you can just measure stuff you know and get it all just right with one of these doohickeys here now <clears throat> you know it's all electronic and all that kind of stuff but uh really the business ends down here you know and up here inside out and, and you know the outside and then the inside diameters but you know, one of these things, man, these are gold for model builders. And it, like I say, it's just my process. You guys criticize, you don't have to do it. This is what I do. Now, uh, after I get into that fitment process and I get everything dialed in the way I want it, uh, then I go into building. And hold on a second, I gotta tell Doobie Brothers to turn down a little bit. Hey Alexa, turn down Doobie Brothers. All right, there, my music, you know, I'm a Doobie Brothers fan. And oh, he's talking back to me. Uh, now you know you don't be lazy in here because, like I say, no amount of gluing is gonna painting is gonna cover up bad fit. And uh, then I get into building, and sometimes in the building phase in here, I'll get some ideas, and I'll go back and I might add, and I kind of loop around in here a little bit, and then I get into the final painting and a decaling. So this is just what I do, okay? And I do a lot of airbrushing. So in here, I have a note to myself, don't be lazy, airbrush. I mean, we all love rattle cans, but man, nothing beats a really good uh, airbrush finish. And I got a couple of them like we all do. And I, I, I personally use a lot of Iwata uh, airbrushes. I like them, I've used others. Not, no offense, just that that's what I've kind of settled on for my personal uh, uh, work. All right, so there it is. That's what I do, and my models are a process, a product of this process. Okay, my models are a product of this process, and I'm always fiddling and adjusting and changing a little bit here and there. All right, enough of that. So now, enough said. Let's look at the stuff. So uh, here we go. Uh, this is the Willis pickup truck. And, you know, if you guys have built this model or looking at this model, you're going to know that one of the things you're going to have a little bit of work on is up here getting this hood. You know, what would have been a fiberglass hood on a real real one-to-one -one dragster? Getting that hood to fit right. And what I did is I, uh, oh, the goodies. So let's look at the goodies. You got that supercharged engine. Man, isn't that nice? And you got a, a like a moon style gas tank up in there in front of the radiator, and uh, you got the headers that are down there. We all love those. And uh, what I put in some orange uh, uh, plexiglass windows. You know, I did that. And um, what you got a lot of fiddling and fitting over here to do. And I did. A, I built myself a, a a Nerf bar. They called it. I built a Nerf bar and put a Nerf bar uh, in under there, okay? And uh, anyway, you know, 
and the, you can sort of see uh, how that all, but the fitment process, that was key on this one here. And of course, you know, one thing you want to make sure when you're doing that fitment process is you want everything to line up down the long axis of the car, right? You, you don't want to have this thing tweaked over to the side, right? So you can see there that that lines up perfectly straight there, right? And you want to make sure that other stuff in there is lining up good, right? So there's a, there's a little bit of key there. Now, obviously I did a two-tone paint job and I robbed some decals out of them. And this is a powered by a 427 Chevy engine. So, you know, I got that all over the place decal. And, uh, you know, little little uh, shout out on it. Action Pack 427, you know, 427. The guy's pretty proud of that 427. And uh, since it's a Chevy, hey, Chevy Chevy Olay, right? <clears throat> From uh, where else? El Monte, California. So, um, you know, there you go, right? That's, that's that one. And I did uh, that process where I stripped all the chrome off and, uh, you know, brought it back up using black and, and uh, now, guys, I gotta confess, I did use rattle can on this one. Um, but then on later models, I decided, uh, uh I'm going with the good old all clad, you know. That, that stuff is great. So, uh, I hope I'm okay saying what brand. I used, some, I used somebody's paint, how about that? <laughs> right. And built it up with black, their black paint and their uh, chrome uh, paint on a, about a 15 PSI airbrush. Okay, but this one was all done with the, even though I said I don't like to use rattle can, the rattle can method. All right, enough about the Willis. Okay, now let's take a look at that Anglia. Okay, hold on, so be right back. 